Hi, and welcome to this B1 printer delivery e-learning session, where this one is a feature focus on the out-of-the-box crystal reports and how to translate them. Out-of-the-box uh, B1 printer delivery and its startup wizard have a lot of different crystal layouts that you get out-of-the-box for free and you can just manipulate as you see fit. They are also stored with inside the product, uh, but you can also go and download them on our help center, uh, support.boyom-it.com. The crystals themselves are nothing special. The, the, there's a few oddities in them uh, because we want to have, for example, that all sales and purchase can be done in one crystal report instead of multiple crystal reports. Um, I will show the SQL. Uh, versions today but of course the HANA versions exist in the same uh, kind of format all depending on the capabilities of uh, the QA language. So um, let's have a look. Uh, this is the folder I have them in and let's just take a look at the documents crystal layout. So I will open it and we will see how it's uh, built inside. So here we have the layout um, and it's set up with various different things and you can see all of them looks like they are formulas instead of just regular fields that you normally put in. And that's because the system have translations in all of them. Meaning that if I run this, let's say I want to see the first invoice and you can also see again it can run all the different document types here. Uh, so if I run it and give some information here so we can run it, it will show it in uh, that invoice. But I can turn it into a different one and uh, one of the things that is happening behind the scenes is it will check the, the document layout. So this is uh, document one, invoice one. So if we go in here and find invoice number one and change its language for example to Spanish and rerun it here you can now see that this turned into Spanish because the SQL behind it will actually check that and turn the language into different stuff so if we have a look at it the layout itself consists of three things here, but the different layouts will have different things, of course. Many of them will always have this company info that is just a long sequel to get various things like default bank address of uh, the company running business one. So these are often used uh, down here, for example, and so on. Um, then there is uh, the header data. And the header data is quite advanced in that Again, it uh, uses dynamic SQL. Uh, in HANA version, it's a bit more crude, but it is possible because the MS SQL SQL is just more advanced with the exec. Uh, but it builds up a lot of uh, things dynamically, choosing the, the tables dynamically, so it can both be invoices and sales orders and stuff in the same go. Uh, of course, you can go in and change this to your heart's content, uh, but it requires two parameters, the, the object, the doc key, which is the primary key, and the object ID, meaning uh, that 17 is the quotation, uh, or 23 is the quotation, 17 is the order, 13 is the invoice, and so on, the normal object type that SAP have. We also have the lines, of course, with the line data in the same manner. Uh, where it also gets the text lines and subtotals and all the, the different things that is needed in order for you to have the full document. We have some advanced versions that also take bats and serial numbers. That's not the out of the box ones, but you can download them on our web page. And then, yeah, two parameters in, nothing special there. But then everything else is in formula fields. And that is so it's easier for you to work with this in various languages and various uh, things. So every field here is a field comprised of the uh, of the initial uh, 
database fields, not a single database field you will ever see have been drawn out here. So uh, every field has been turned into a formula as well, and you can put that in. So a currency is very simple. It just takes the header currency, but you can go in and, and do more advanced stuff based on this uh, way of doing things. It's a matter of opinion if that's uh, better or worse, but that's just the way we do it. Everything on header is just a field. Everything on line have a line underscore on it. And then we have the title uh, underscore down here. And that is because, for example, the BP name. We can go in and say if the cost, if it's the if the car type is a customer and the language is English, in this case, it would be customer name. But if it's a different language, it could uh, change from field to field. And that is how we do it. This is a more advanced one, while things like date is, uh, let me find them here, can be more simple. It's just a date field, doc date in this case. Um, and everything, uh, every single one of these is controlled by this X language, which is the one controlling the different languages. And we get this value out using the SQL and figure out what it is, and then can sit and uh, run these different things. So a bunch of work have been put in. It, it took several months to build this uh, document. You can, of course, bring your own, uh, but uh, if you want to have a good out-of-the-box scenario, you can do this. And if you want to translate it, if you go to the help page, uh, there's an appendix here about how to translate it, where it goes to every single little thing about this title thing and so on, how this works, how you put in a new one and so on. So it is possible for you to, to translate them uh, without too much uh, work. Of course, there's a lot of title fields, but uh, one, once you've done for each of them, you're done. So that is how the crystals behind the scenes work. Again, there's many other crystals, uh, activities, and documents is probably the, the most advanced one, uh, despite from account balance, uh, while something similar, uh, simple as this uh, is fairly easy to, to work with. Let's see this command and just see. Oh, I need to take the right database. There we go. Much simpler SQL in this case uh, because it's not as advanced as, uh, as the document. But all of them you get for free. You can technically use them for anything else uh, as well. Um, but uh, that is how we get you up and running as fast as possible. So with that, thank you for attending. Hope it was beneficial.